executing a map key saved to config.pro file using Creo distributed batch application. In this process, we are going to review the save map key file to config.pro, review the contents of the map key.ttd file, executing distributed batch, running a task on selected set of part model. Let's review the config.pro file. In this config.pro file, map key HL have been defined and saved. The map key records the operations of accessing a layer tree, selecting the top layer tree, and executing the right click mouse button command hide, selecting view tab, and then saving the view status. These operations are captured and saved as a map key in this config.pro file saved to disk. Let's see how we can start Creo distributed batch application. Creo distributed batch application can be launched from Creo parametric installation directory, parametric bin folder. From the Creo distributed batch UI, select create new task group. Select the run a map key defined in a config.pro task from the miscellaneous group. Click OK. The selected task will be added to the group. Click on the name of the task. Observe that this task uses the map key.ttd file from the text ttds folder of Creo installation location. Let's review the contents of this file. In the mapkey.ttd file, at the line number 15, observe we need to specify the name of the map key that we stored in the config.pro file. At the line number 16, the value false indicates that the models modified will not be saved after executing the map key. To save the modified files, change this false value to true. Click save to save the changes made to the map key.ttd file. From the distributed batch UI under the task, set the DSM value to standalone if you are not using a distributed service manager. Select objects to define the part files or assembly files on which you have to run the map key. Click configuration file section to open and select the config.pro file where you have saved the map key. Click the output section to define where the modified files will be saved. Let's set it to same as source object location. Once all definitions are complete, click save to save the distributed batch as a file. To start execution of the task, select action, start selected group. The execution begins. Once the task completes, the objects will be displayed in completed status. Check the output folder to see all the new save. This completes demonstration for executing map key through distributed batch.